Welcome back guys, welcome to this week's video of Simple Squid Vids. Now for today's episode, we're going to be looking at canned food. And as to why we're looking at canned food, first, a nice little story. The end has arrived. The epidemic is over. Social distancing, a thing of the past. It is time to get back out there and enjoy life. But wait, what do I hear? It's my phone. It's ringing. What is that? My grandmother. People have been avoiding are finally ready to see me again. This is terrible. I had an excuse before, but now they are arriving, whether I like it or not. I have to prepare. I have to put out a spread, something that proves that I haven't been just living off fast food for these several months. I look at my cupboard, I look at my pantry, and all I find is this, a labelless can. And I hope, I hope and pray that it's people food. And that is gonna be the theme of today's episode. We're gonna be doing a series of canned, prepackaged, and prepared food and help elevate it. So it looks like you've been doing something a little bit different, a little bit more productive with your life these past few months. And today's recipe, refried beans. All right then guys, now for the refried beans, I'm just gonna simply make two cans of beans. And with a normal nonstick pan like this, you could either use any kind of oil, like olive oil or vegetable oil. I'm actually gonna go ahead and go with some bacon grease. Why? Because you might as well have fun with this. Let's see, one, but two things of bacon grease. And we'll go ahead and let this heat up before we throw in our cans of beans. Ooh. Ah. All right. Now that's heating it up a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and throw in the beans. Now, I know it doesn't look pretty, but it's canned beans. It's not going to look pretty, which is fine because your company will never know. They'll just think it's delicious food. And you know what? It is delicious food. Now you probably hear it sizzling a little bit. You're gonna wanna lower the flame and break up the beans. This is gonna give it a nice little fried flavor. And of course it's bacon grease, so you're gonna get that nice bacon flavor in it too. Now, just like everything else, you gotta flavor your food, and beans are no exception, even if you're in the can. What I like to do is a nice little hamburger seasoning. Yes, I know, that sounds weird for beans, but trust me. So we're gonna do some hamburger seasoning. A little bit of garlic. Now, this last one is optional, but I like it because it gives it a little bit of kick, but not too much some red chili flakes. Now, of course, we're gonna add it all to taste. So once you add in the first batch, go ahead and mix it all in. And I promise you, you'll have to add more at this point, unless you're really heavy handed with the spices. And we'll go again. Hamburger spice mix. Some more garlic. And more peppers. Now this alone is already gonna give you some flavorful beans, but again, we're trying to impress people to convince them that we've been productive since we haven't seen them in several months to a year. No judgment, no judgment, I'm the same way. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and add some cheese to this. Why? Because beans and cheese, man, they go great together. Trust me. And I'm gonna do some good heaping handfuls of cheese. How do you know you'll add enough cheese? Well, the beans are gonna actually change color and you're gonna see it ooey and gooey into them beans. Look at that. Some nice shredded cheese. See, we're continuing the whole pre-packaged stuff and using pre-packaged, pre-shredded cheese. You could go ahead and go fresh cheese and shred it in yourself, but I mean, if you're using canned beans, time is of the essence. There we 
go. Could already see the color changing. I'm gonna throw ahead and throw in a little bit more cheese. And by a little, I mean another heat and helpful handful of this. Look at that. Now, when you're mixing it, you're gonna be able to feel it actually giving some resistance, and that's good. That's how you know that you're getting good amount of cheese in these beans. And you probably notice that it's definitely a different color than when you first made it. Look at that. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a nice, oh, chip taste. Make sure that it's good. Mm. Delicious. It's definitely give it a different flavor, different texture with the beans. And there you have it, elevated refried beans. And I know what you're thinking, canned beans and chips, not gonna be enough for the company that's coming over. Don't worry, we're gonna go ahead and try adding it to a nice Mexican torta right now. All right, now for the Mexican torta, it's basically a nice sandwich. What you're gonna wanna do is get your bolillo or whatever kind of hoagie roll you wanna use. You typically use butter or mayonnaise. I'm opting for butter this time. And you're gonna want a nice little skillet like this. The hotter the better you should see a little bit of steam coming off it now be careful it's obviously hot and you're gonna hear a nice little sizzle if it's hot enough there we go you want to heat up this roll get that nice golden brown going on it Now this one's already seasoned, but the great part about the cast iron is that obviously when it's seasoned, all the flavor seeps in there. But whenever you use something like this for a toast, you do a nice little bread or mayonnaise on there. You don't have to worry about it sticking. You have to add oil yourself because it's gonna get that oil on it. And give you the nice toast without the stick. Look at that, look how that slides around on there, see? Let me go ahead and give it a quick little look. Not even close. It's starting to brown, but not even close. Let's heat her up more. Now I have to put a lot of butter. Again, you can use mayonnaise, but I always like butter on my on these kind of sandwiches. Why? It's what I grew up with. It's what I'm familiar with. And it's delicious. It's butter. See how it's starting to brown? Again, it doesn't, this does not take long at all, as long as you get your skillet nice and hot. You want to have it hot before you throw it on there. Otherwise, you're just going to be sitting here forever. And I'm going to go ahead and opt for a nice, simple ham sandwich. So basically, after I get this off here, I could throw the ham already on the bread, but I'm going to throw the ham on the skillet, heat it up a little bit, give it some color. And of course, heated ham, it gives it some flavor, man. Love that sound. Bam. That's enough for me. I know people like it a little bit darker, but that's gonna be the perfect amount for me. And I'm gonna go ahead and lower the heat on this skill a little bit. Trust me, it's gonna retain a lot of its heat already. So you don't need to worry about it being too hot. Now, for all your headphone users out there, be warned, this is gonna sizzle and crackle right now. Now this will not take long at all. See, it's already starting to brown. That's how hot this sucker is. You just wanna heat it up enough that it gets a nice little color. And hot sandwich, man, come on. Now, I'm gonna lower the heat a little bit while that heats up. I'm gonna put a little bit of our freshly made refried beans onto the bolillo. Bam, nice little scoop there. And I'm gonna spread that on both sides of the bread.
Bam, look at that. Delicious, delicious right there. And our ham is done. Now simply add that to our bolillo. Fold her up. And there you have it. Nice, quick, simple torta. And there we have it. Sandwich made with canned beans. Delicious. And now you can look at your relatives or your friends and be like, boom, I've been productive this whole time. What have you been doing? All right, everyone, that's gonna wrap up today's episode. Thank you so much for tuning in this long. If you liked what you saw, please like and subscribe. It definitely helps with the channel, helps us grow a little bit. And if there's anything you wanna check out as far as canned food, comment down below. I see enough comments. Of course, we'll see what we can do with that. But until then, thank you again. I'm gonna eat this sandwich. It's mine, not yours.